La 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 la! Of course you smoke while you play. It's the, the key to the balance of the bow on. What do you want to say today? Nothing. The teacher has to be clear. The teacher has to be clear in many areas. Clear what he's doing, clear in what he's communicating. La 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 la! All three are equally disgusting. Good! Wobblato. It's horrible. It's wrong. It's, it can slip in. I can do all three in Wobblato, and all three are equally wrong. With the cigar between the first and second finger, you learn not to press with the first finger. So you have that beautiful tone. If you've got a valuable violin and you're frightened that the ash is going to burn the varnish, you don't half learn how to play at the heel. There. Once, once I was on the phone and I had this there to the A string and it exploded in my face. Lucky it wasn't the wood. Once I wasn't careful. Ever since then I've been careful. I'd like you to answer some of the uh, comments that have been made on the recent YouTube films. The nasty ones continue as well. But as I reply to everyone, there's a lot of very, very perceptive and clever people out there this medium of the computer, which I always thought was a very dangerous thing, it can be used to advantage. I'm trying to work out what kind of people are looking at a YouTube thing that says the king on the violin. Is it the word the king that does it? It's what gets all the psyche remarks, but then you wouldn't have 20,000 views if you just said a guy in London playing the violin. You what? <laughs> I also have to be the king on the violin, even though people think I can't play. <laughs> They're disappointed because they want me to be a great soloist and I'm not. Whether it be a child, do I give a specimen lesson how I am with a child, which is not the same as I am now, um, or with an advanced student, what are the issues? Have I split too much between musicality and technique, or not split enough? I see them as merged. I think people are disappointed with that, they want exercises. How to improve intonation, how to improve vibrato, how to improve spiccato, legato, up bow staccato, exercises they want. They're going to write down and copy. Oh, this is what this guy writes. This is an exercise. Wow, your playing is so musical. How do you do it? We well, can't just say how to be more musical. By the way, for those of you who watch YouTube, there's um, a documentary with Ida Hendel on now. You can look up Ida Hendel. There are six because they're ten minutes each. And it's very interesting that she mentioned somewhere through that the modern players, she said, they are nothing but mediocrities. She's right, of course, so I'm not completely mad. Yeah. But she doesn't explain exactly why there's been a cut-off point, why there's been a deterioration. Because there's some marvellous technicians, marvellous playing there. But nothing is being said. And I think it's partly to do with the conservatoire system, which I seem to be attacking all the time. Last time I spoke about reduction to whether a note is loud, soft, crescendo, diminuendo. But there's all sorts of things I want to say. I don't know whether it's the right time, the right medium to say it, or the technique. Because there's quite specific things which contribute to the sound. And this involves going into unpopular areas things that have never been said before, and whether you use which muscle and how do you use which muscle. Teachers tend to talk about movements like open the elbow, close the elbow, wrist movement, finger movement, as if the student knows what is involved. I'm much more in talking about the sensation. OK, I'll do it then. I'll give, I'll give one thing. Um, but this is very difficult. Uh, there are several areas where the concept of grip is crucial. Crucial to all areas of technique, in both the left-hand technique and in the right-hand technique. And what I'm going to say will be controversial for two reasons. First of all, no one has mentioned this anywhere. It is unique to me. So people pick up the balance and say, what is he talking about? It's not in the books. My teacher never mentioned this. That's one reason why it's controversial. The second reason is people won't be convinced that you can actually hear a difference. And this is the key to it. But nevertheless, I will try. The grip of flesh, flesh being skin, skin, flesh, without pressing tight by making the muscles rigid, is crucial to violin playing in several areas. 
For instance, someone asked me how to hold the bow. I don't know whether you can show this on the camera. I'm going to put the stick of the wood on my thumb tip. All books say that. But none of them say specifically that it must be on, look where my nail is digging in, that side of the thumb. If I press towards this wall now, it cannot slip. If I have the stick put on the centre of where the bone is, or to the right of it, it slips. Which means that the thumb is constantly dragging down in order not to slip. If you place it by pulling the thumb a bit out, so that the wood touches on this side of the bone, it can't slip. So I'm now going to stick the thumb in, so near the edge that it looks like it's kind of come out this way from the edge, and then if I push in there, pushing this way to that direction, it cannot slip. If I go one millimeter on the wrong side, it can slip in. So you have to find that it's on which side of the bone. So that applies to all grip of the thumb in the bow arm. Once it's gripped, it cannot slip. The same principle applies, this is where it really gets unpopular, to every finger, all four of them, on every string. If you put the finger down on the string like that and press down, most people, most of the time, have got their fingers shaped that they could do a pizzicato that way, by flicking that way, because they're on this side, this side of the string. I'm stopping the string so that if I were to do a pizzicato, I would have to do that. Because I'm on that side of the bone, very near the nail, and it digs in there so it cannot slip. Not there, where it could slip to there, and consequently you're doing that. It blocks all the stopping movements, it blocks velocity, and it also blocks intonation. Now, it's very fiddly, people are playing this is with the forefinger there. If I've got that shape, it's natural to put the finger down like that, it's dead because I'm going to go that way, it's the wrong way. If I do it that way and push this way because I'm on this side of the bone, which is very near the edge of the finger, then when I do a vibrato movement, I can do an up and down movement and I'm not going to go backwards and forwards, which is what I call wobblato. That's wobblato. Wobblato. In vibrato, people then go into the discussion whether you're using arm vibrato, wrist vibrato, or finger vibrato. I can do all three in wobblato, and all three are equally wrong. More controversial stuff. Arm vibrato, easy peasy. It's not vibrato, it's wobblato. Wrist, finger. All three are equally disgusting. The up and down version that I'm doing is coming from the finger only. You can hear it again. La, 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 la. Later, once you've got the finger working, you can involve the arm or the wrist in a manner which is very complex. But we'll go into that. I have to open the door. Someone's arrived.